uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so let's solve this uh, very interesting interview question okay so actually in my previous uh, videos i have solved uh, this r out and the gain thing uh, almost intuitive right so you can see those videos okay now uh, in this session we will try to find the r in okay so we will do the first small small signal thing then we try to give some intuition for some uh, uh, like uh, extreme cases okay for this particular problem so basically this is a inverter with a register in between the v into v out right so for uh, to find the r in we will apply a uh, uh, small voltage there at the input at this node and we will do uh, like we will deactivate all the independent sources and then find the vt over it right so we have to do this thing so you have to apply a test voltage with respect to ground here as we are looking from here and then we have to find what is the current coming out of this voltage thing. then then the r in is nothing but I have to find vt by it right so we need to do that so let me draw the small signal model okay of this uh, of this particular circuit okay so So actually you need to draw the small signal okay so then some intuition you can uh, put there okay so here is our V in right and there is a resistance and we will consider the output of the of each MOSFET okay so this is uh, R, uh, R, RDS of N okay and this is uh, This is RDS of P, right? This is, this is small signal grounded, uh, and this is the test voltage here, right? Right? So, what is the independent uh, dependent source of this? So, this is nothing but GM times VGS. So, this will be GMN times VT, right? As the VGS for these two MOSFET is nothing but VT, right? So, this will be, this source will be nothing but GMP times VT, right? And the direction is from, like the V out is here, right? And here is V in. So, the P MOS, the, the, uh, like the P MOS current, dependent current source will be looking like that right the direction right from drain to source right from drain small signal current is always flows from drain to source okay so now we have to write some kcl and kvl and we will we, will, we need to solve that equations okay so we can see that no current can go there and no current can go there right so all of the it will flow through the resistance r right so we can directly write it is nothing but vt minus vo divided by r so this is the equation number one and uh, so we can directly apply a kcl here right we can apply a kcl at this output node okay so there are we can see that there are let's say this is the one branch okay let's see this is one branch this is two branch this is three branch this is four branch and this is the fifth branch right so we need to write a kcl in this node so let me write that so so the, it will be nothing but v out okay so let me write uh, rds of n parallel rds p is nothing but let's say uh, some constant k okay so this will be so v out by k because this v out like from this v out there is same branch to ground right rds of p and rds of n and they comes in parallel right so the total current through this rds of p and rds of n is nothing but that current okay and this will be okay yes plus so all of the current is outgoing right outgoing from the node from the node v okay
so all of the current is outgoing so this will be nothing but uh, gm p times vt okay let me common the vt okay let me take common so this will be nothing but gm n plus gm p plus that on current is coming like flowing through that node right so this current is nothing but what this will be vt like the v out minus vt divided by r right so this will be nothing but v out minus vt divided by r will be equal to zero right total current will be equal to zero so now we need to solve these two expressions okay uh, so i can see that this is the nothing but the minus r current right so this term so we can see okay this term is nothing but the negative of this it right so i will simplify that like it okay so v not by k k is nothing but that okay plus gt gmn plus gmp plus oh, so this will be minus right minus it we can write that right now from here we need to just replace the v out okay so here we can see that v out is nothing but uh, so this is the v out right so this will be a vt minus it r right okay so let me see so this is multiplied and yes so this is the v out so we will replace the v out here okay so this will be vt minus it r vt minus it into r divided by k plus vt by gmp plus gmn equal to it right now if we so okay so this will be so we, we can take common vt right vt is common this will be 1 by k plus gmp plus gmn and then we will directly write it is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus uh, uh, r by k right r by k so we have we need vt over it right so vt by it is our r in the nothing but 1 plus r by k divided by 1 by k plus g m p plus g m n so now we have to see if this expression is correct or not okay so this is our uh, final output expression okay now we have to check is this is correct or not so let me take two extreme cases okay two cases case one case 1 when r is equal to infinity and case 2 when r is equal to 0 okay now when we can see that so for this picture when r in equal to 0 right so, sorry sorry when the r is equal to 0 then the simply the circuit becomes like that right so r is 0 means 0 impedance is short circuit now we have to find what is the r in right so from that node and and this node is same node right so looking up here there is a two diode connected mosfet comes in parallel right so this will be on over gm on gmn parallel on over gmp right now if we take gmn equal to gmp equal to let's say gm then it will be nothing but on by 2 gm okay so for r equal to 0 and for r equals infinity so this becomes a normal inverter right so this becomes a normal inverter so then output impedance is infinite right we know that so for okay let me draw the picture again when the r is in infinite so here when the r is infinite r in is also infinite right because no current can go through this uh, gate terminal of this mosfets right so we have to check uh, for r equal to infinite 
the output impedance is infinite or not and for r r equal to 0 for r equal to 0 the output uh, like the uh, in, uh, input impedance is on over gm gm or not okay so we need to check the check from this expression okay understood now so now if i put r equal 0 here okay let me okay for for r equals infinite here. so if i put r equal to infinite so we can see that so r in is nothing but infinite by something right let's find it some finite thing so this will be infinite so this is matching our condition okay so this is the intuitive result okay now if i put r equals 0 okay r equals 0 right so if i put r equals 0 here r in will be nothing but 1 plus 0 divided by 1 by k plus gmp plus gmn right here okay so let me check that okay so here i have i have told na that the uh, 2 gmp right because here they are there is always present a rds of n and rds of p right rds of p and rds of n right so actually here if we neglect that the uh, impedance will on over gm n okay otherwise the impedance from here when r equals 0 will be nothing but 1 by gmp parallel rds of p parallel 1 over gmn parallel rds of n right so this will be the final expression but if we neglect the challenge length modulation like the rds of things this will be nothing but 1 over gmp parallel 1 over gmm right so now so here we can see that so if i neglect k okay if the k is infinite right so we are neglecting rds of p and rds of n becomes infinity so this term becomes zero right so it will be nothing but 1 by 1 by okay 0 plus gm p parallel gmn right so now what we have said we have said that if gmp equal gmn equal to gm then the expression becomes 1 over 2 gm right so this is coming similar things right 1 over 2 gm so actually this is how we can check our result uh, from expression and intuitive intuitively okay so this is the correct expression of this uh, of this circuit okay this is a very good question i believe okay and if we if we if, if you are not neglecting the rds a non rds b the expression will be remaining same okay so this is the final expression where k is the parallel combination of the output impedance of the uh, pmos and the nmos okay so this is the correct expression i think this uh, this is a tricky question okay normally people will say like normally people can do right uh, uh, okay let me draw the picture again by the first look in on this question they will say the r in can be so r in can be okay let me do that so they will say the r in is nothing but that type of thing so here from this node what is the rx let's say this is rx so they will say rx will be nothing but uh, rds of p parallel rds of n and this is r okay so then they will say r in is nothing but r in is nothing but r plus rx so actually this is wrong thing okay this is not correct okay so uh, like uh, do it carefully okay so people will think from this node the uh, output impedance let's say from this node is rx okay so this will be that and they will uh, they will comes uh, like this part will come series with this r okay and they will say r, r in will be rx plus r okay but this is not happening in this case okay if you look carefully Okay, so thank you everyone. Uh, you can put your valuable figure. So actually this is the correct expression. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.